Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to look at enhancements in SQL Server 2016 from SQL Server 2014. In this demo, you'll be learning list of new enhancements and their brief introduction. And this list will be uploaded on our blog. So you can go back to our blog and download this list that we're going to discuss right now and take a brief introduction of those enhancements. So here's the list. I have broken down the enhancements in a few pieces. First is performance, other is security, availability, and scalability. So let's go ahead and discuss each of that briefly. In performance, um, in memory, OLTP has gone really big in SQL Server uh, 2016. The first is uh, before in SQL Server 2014, uh, if you needed to basically um, alter any in-memory table, in SQL Server 2014, you had to recreate that table. But in SQL Server 2016, you don't have to recreate the table. There is an option to alter the in-memory table uh, in SQL Server 2016. So that is a big development enhancement. Uh, number two, more size of durable tables. There are a couple types of uh, in-memory tables. One is durables and other is volatile. So the durable tables are the one that basically if SQL Server gets restarted or all those um, in-memory table can, it also resides on the disk. So those uh, durable tables size limit was in SQL Server 2014 and SQL Server 2012. They were really not big, but now it supports the big durable tables. Uh, number three up here, migration of uh, tables and stored procs in memory report is added in SQL Server management standard reports and it doesn't require management data warehouse anymore. Before that, we used to have a data, where management, where, um, data warehouse management data warehouse and we will run the report and find out what are the candidates um, that can go in memory, uh, the tables and the store procedure. But now we can run the report right from SQL Server Management Studio and look at those uh, candidate tables. Um, up here, the query processing, this is a, a good enhancement as far as the query plans goes and the uh, plan choices are uh, much more distinguished and also very useful and the accurate cardinality estimates and that makes um, the plan really uh, if you do the estimate plan that makes it really close to the actual plan and number two faster and more frequent uh, statistics update are possible before that it wasn't possible but now it is possible uh, number three the parallel insertion is possible with select into operation before select before that before sql server 2016 the select into operation was serial so it was row by row but now the parallel insertion is possible with the enhancement in sql server 2016. Um, up here data and backup Compression compression level has increased for database as well as backup. I don't know how much um, I'll have to install uh, SQL Server 2016 and find out that how much the backup compression has increased. Um, obviously, that will save us a lot of storage. So that's why it's a good enhancement as far as uh, the storage concerns. Uh, data collector, um, it's really good Im improvement as far as DBS goes, improved uh, um, DMVs, SQL traces, uh, s server activities, disk usage, and query usage. Also improved database tuning advisor. This is a huge gain in SQL Server 2016 because before that we could run the tuning advisor and it'll tell us that what are the indexes and views and partition can be created, but now it can create for you. All you need to do is select the database basically and run tuning advisor and it'll tell you the indexes, views and partition and you can hit create and it will create for you. And the performance reports are added in standard reports. All the data collector reports are in SQL Server Management Studio and you can basically right click on SQL Server instance and go in standard reports and uh, click on data collector reports and it contains really good information. That's what I signed the snapshot. Again, we will be performing this once I install SQL Server 2016 and take a live look on data collector reports and all the other reports that ha they have added uh, in SQL Server 2016. Uh, next big thing is security. There, there, there is a great enhancement in security. The transparent data encryption, TDE, we all know uh, in SQL Server 2014, TDE 
was a big thing and we were using TDE and some data masking for the security of our data. But uh, in SQL Server 2016, uh, TDE now supports storage of memory optimized tables. Before that, you couldn't store the memory optimized tables. Now you can basically use the TDE and store the memory optimized tables. Uh, number two here, tables and column level masking is improved. Um, it's uh, how much is improved, I don't know yet as I didn't install it, but uh, uh, technical paper says that it's uh, improved uh, greatly. So we'll take a look later on. Uh, backup encryption. Uh, in previous versions, if you are uh, encrypting the database, then the compression wasn't allowed. But now you can encrypt your database and can also compress the database. That is a huge gain as far as uh, storage goes again. Uh, SQL Server audit tools. This is um, before in SQL Server 2012, 2014, and 2008. Um, uh, what happened was that uh, the audit was only done on permission level, whether um, a user is gone into uh, do something into the SQL Server instance, um, and uh, that gets audit whether it's successful or failure. But now we can, with new audit tools in SQL Server, 2016, we can look at the underlying operation that once the user is logged in um, to do certain things successfully, then what exactly that user is doing. So that is also a good audit enhancement. Availability, great enhancement in uh, always on availability. So <clears throat> the first one up here is load balancing between primary and secondary replica. This is my favorite. What happened is before that we had secondary replicas and we uh, basically could uh, uh, all the application that is basically reading the data from our secondary replica, we had to uh, go in their config file and um, uh, direct the application to read the secondary replica uh, for their read operation. But now the load balancing between primary and secondary replica is possible. So even if your application is connected with your primary replica and primary replica recognize that this is mostly the read operation, it can offload its uh, uh, some of the um, uh, load, basically um, balance between the secondary, it can direct those queries to go towards secondary replica since this is all the read operation. And we will look into the detail that how it's being done as far as SQL Server 2016 goes. So um, again, once we install it, we will take a look in greater detail. Uh, auto failover from uh, before uh, in SQL Server 2014, we had two failover, auto failover allowed, but in SQL Server 2016, we have three. The DTC used to be tied with just SQL Server instance, but now uh, database transaction coordinator is tied with databases also. Uh, if you remember, if you wanted to look at the uh, AG Help, Availability Group Health, that was uh, done, the, that report was always uh, run against the instance rather than the database level. So now it's involved in uh, a much more deeper database level. So you, AG Health is basically measured uh, instance level plus the database level. So if something happened to your database, uh, file is corrupted or database is corrupted, the availability group is going to fail over to your secondary. So that is also a good enhancement. Uh, next is online database operation. Um, this is, I don't know how they have achieved this, but uh, I, I'm curious to look at it. No blocking for alter and truncate operation, 100% uptime for tables during these operations. So remember that if we alter the table or truncate the table, the, the, it gets exclusive lock and will not let you read the data until this, these operations are completed. But now um, it says that uh, it's gonna be 100% up and during these operation, and we'll see how it's being done when we install SQL Server 2016. Uh, data backup enhancement, uh, the graphic user interface is enhanced uh, greatly um, because um, it basically provides you a lot more options to back up your database uh, to Azure uh, or any other places, uh, so that's Im improved a lot. Scalability up here, uh, great improvement as far as Windows and SQL Server enhancements goes. Um, before that, the Windows Server Core, if you have installed, because Windows Server Core is very light instead of uh, Windows Server, um, 
graphic user interface uh, uh, 64 version then uh, Windows Server Core has less patch patches, less maintenance, less downtime, but it couldn't support all of the features of SQL Server. But now the support is there, so you can go ahead and basically keep your operating system light and take advantage of SQL Server as well. Next, support for Windows Server REF, that's Resilient File System. Uh, I, I, I don't know much about Resilient File System, believe me, but um, um, there is a support for Windows and SQL Server enhancement on Windows Server REFS. Uh, next is faster live migration for SQL VM. Uh, SQL VM used to uh, take a lot of time if you wanted to migrate from one uh, server to another, but now the migration is much faster. Cluster aware updates, we we did have in SQL Server 2014, but it's improved a lot. Um, cluster aware updates will, um, you know, it helps us to uh, update our cluster nodes without taking them down. Dynamic quorum, now uh, quorum can basically uh, migrate with nodes or however you want it to basically dynamically uh, manage the quorum, it is possible now. Buffer pool extension, this is also a great feature if you're using solid state drives, SSDs. Uh, buffer pool can share the space on SSD and extend the buffer pool that will increase the performance of your SQL Server 2016. Partitioning, uh, I don't know exact number uh, in previous versions, but uh, scale up to 15,000 uh, table partitioning is possible at, uh, uh, today with SQL Server 2016, and it helps to uh, deal with large data sets which applications such as SAP uses daily or hourly. So um, if the data Base, uh, if the data is flowing back and forth, uh, a great deal of data, then uh, you know the partition 15,000 table partition is is basically um, possible and it improves the the data flow. Uh, distributed re uh, replay. This was a great feature uh, for our production getting ready stuff, but um, it was just single threaded, and um, the it, it gave us a good boost. Uh, for us to get ready and check the load on our production before we basically move into production on our test systems. But now the multi-threaded replay is introduced as opposed to single-threaded replay for production uh, get ready planning. TempDB, TempDB optimization is, is a huge win as well as far as DBS goes and performance of SQL Server 2016 goes. Multiple TempDB files per instance for multi-core environments is possible now. So this was uh, just the um, quick overview of new enhancement that was done from previous version SQL Server 2014 to SQL Server 2016. And if you need to uh, uh, have this file, you can download it from our blog. And I hope this little demo helps.